At least six Palestinians, including a local Hamas commander, have been killed after Israel carried out an undercover raid and airstrikes in the Gaza Strip. Uh, an Israeli official has also died after a period of relative calm. It's brought fears of renewed tensions. Uh, the incident prompted Israelis, uh, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to cut short his visit in Paris, where he had been gathered, gathering with world leaders for a World War I commemoration. Uh, well, let's get a little more on this with our correspondent, Alistair Sanford, who joins me now in the studio. Good morning to you, Alistair. Good morning, Belle. Uh, just bring us up to date with what exactly happened here. Yes, well, both sides have been giving their versions of events. Hamas giving slightly more detail. Uh, Hamas, of course, is the Islamist militant group that dominates Gaza. It says there was an Israeli operation inside its territory in southern Gaza near the town of Khan Yunis and that Israeli assailants were in a car going past a group of armed men. They targeted and killed uh, one officer who's been uh, named as Noor Baraka. He was a deputy commander of Hamas's military wing. Uh, the Ham Hamas says there was an, ex an exchange of fire and shelling with Israel firing some uh, 40 uh, missiles into the area. Uh, and meanwhile, Hamas gunmen gave chase of the Israelis back to the border and it's condemned what it calls uh, a cowardly Israeli attack. Now, on casualties, um, different reports say either six or seven Palestinians were killed. Hamas says they included four of, um, of their militants. The Israeli military version from the Israeli Defense Force, it confirms there was a special forces operation in the area and that there was an exchange of fire and that one uh, of the Israeli uh, officers was killed. He's been, uh, he was reportedly a lieutenant colonel and another one was wounded and has been taken to hospital. Israel says Hamas responded with missiles launched into Israeli territory uh, that didn't cause any uh, damage or injuries, but uh, it says 17 rockets were fired and three intercepted. It's created something of a security alert, a railway line's been closed and school has been cancelled and communities bordering, uh, bordering the Gaza Strip. And of course, clashes uh, on the Gaza Strip are not, uh, are not uncommon, but there had been a period of relative calm very recently. Yes, absolutely, which raises the question as to why this uh, has happened now. Um, yes, Egypt and Qatar have been involved with the UN in trying to broker uh, a long-term ceasefire. Those efforts had been intensifying and it's thought some progress had been made. Now, Benjamin Netanyahu says the operation was justified to bring calm to southern Israel. Uh, he says there'd been internal tensions destabilizing Gaza. Um, and he also said this was needed to avoid a humanitarian crisis. Now, interestingly, Israel has been allowing the supply of fuel just recently into Gaza uh, for electricity. It's also authorized Qatar to begin paying the salaries, uh, literally carrying suitcases of money into uh, Gaza to pay the salaries of, uh, of Hamas officials. And that's created something of a dispute within right wing elements of the Israeli government, perhaps suggesting this is being too soft on Hamas. Um, the Israeli media is playing down the significance of all this. But as you've said, Benjamin Netanyahu has uh, cut short his visit uh, to Paris. And of course, it's brought fears of more tension after all those.